you're actually in an upcoming film, Bromate, um, which is starring Lil Rel and Josh Brenner and executive produced by Snoop. Tell me about that role right. in your film. I mean, in your um, um, tell me about that film and the role. Okay. Um, yeah, I just completed that yesterday. I just wrapped. Mm. Um, Snoop is actually there today. And I wish I could have met him. But I have met him before, and he's he's awesome. Um, this is like, this is just a this is just straight up comedy, nothing too serious. Just a, a brainless kind of mm-hmm. <laughs> roommate. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a comedy, so you know, it, I love being able just to make a film that makes people laugh, like brainless. There's no social responsibility. It's just <laughs> you know, because I because I. A lot of times I end up doing that, and it, and it wears on me, you know, because yeah. I'm not perfect in the sense of I don't know how to speak on everything perfectly. So yeah, this so- particular one was um, was uh, was fun to do for me. Yes, definitely, because, I mean, also, too, after coming off of Orange is the New Black, where that was, like, always very, very he- he- heavy, you know, topics and everything, as you mentioned, sexual abru- abuse, um, you know, um, prison reform, the criminal justice right. system, you oh, know, yeah. and so the, and to do something like bro mates is like a vacation, huh? Right, exactly. And like, even with like Orange, it's like, you know, one season I'm being raped and the next season I'm forgiving my, my abuser. And it's like, Dungy, did you ever want to warn me about all this? You know, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you know, people are mad at me. I forgave, you know, my rapist on the show, but it wasn't Taryn. This was the character's choice. Um, so it's just a lot of stress, you know, I take on a lot of, a lot of stressful roles, I guess, but I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of people that um, would love to play the roles I play. They don't get seen that way. And there's a lot of roles I'd love to get seen as that I don't get to play. So the grass but, is really, what's a role that you, what, what's a role that you would love to play, Taryn? Um, well, I would love, well, I'd love to do more like, um, you know, um, you know, uh, like classic traditional films at 1800s and you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like just like period pieces. I never get seen as period mm-hmm. pieces. They always say I'm too modern and I'm too um, slangy and stuff because I am a musician and, and I am a DJ. And so that I do have that whole side to me that sometimes I guess it's not easy for me to shake in, around people. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Um, there's that. I mean, the girl next door would be fun and maybe mm-hmm. the pretty girl, but I guess I'm not that pretty, so I don't get those. Um, and then, <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, on and on and on, but um, I'd love to do a musical because I can sing and dance. And I was accepted into Juilliard on a full ballet right. scholarship. Like, so many things that people don't really know about me, but isn't that life, right? Not everyone's yeah. going to know everything about you and all your accomplishments. 